Uh, do you think it's him winning the NFC East, or do you think it's Russell uh, Wilson winning the AFC West? I'm going to go with Russell Wilson winning the AFC West, and I know we're talking about how stacked the AFC West is, but let's not forget, like, the Denver Broncos, the reason everyone talked about the Denver Broncos needing a quarterback so bad, I think this team, you know, like, there were seven games that were decided by one score or less for the Denver Broncos. Mm. That's how competitive they were. This is a team with a top-10 defense, got weapons galore on the offensive side of the football, and the one critical piece that was missing – was a quarterback to navigate the whole thing. I think when you look at Carson Wentz, there's a reason why we're seeing this, this dude go from Philadelphia to Indianapolis in one year, then all of a sudden being traded to the Washington Commanders. There is just something with the lack of leadership or the, something with intangibles as it relates to Carson Wentz. Everyone looks at the numbers. I think the numbers from last year where he had 27 touchdowns, seven interceptions, I think it was deceiving. You know, with that type, with that Indianapolis Colts team that was top 10 in both offense and defense, a strong, you know, one of the best backs in Jonathan Taylor, and you couldn't navigate your way out of the, out of the AFC South to get yourself in the postseason with just a win over the Jacksonville Jaguars in the last game, that to me, Carson Wentz is just not the answer for the Washington Commanders to try to win the NFC East with the, with the Dallas Cowboys and, and the other teams in that division. I just feel like Russell Wilson is in a much better situation with the Denver Broncos, even with all the other teams in the AFC West, to try to, uh, to, try to win the AFC West with the Denver Broncos. So, shockingly, I don't agree with D. Wood. Uh, the answer is Carson Wentz, and it has nothing to do with Carson Wentz. It has everything to do with the NFC East. It has everything to do with the New York Giants and Daniel Jones mm. or – if Mitchell Trubisky ends up there, which, you know, there's speculation that could happen. Uh, it has everything to do with the Cowboys. You know, what will the Cowboys be in 2022? We're going to see. It has everything to do with the Eagles, who, despite having Jalen Hurts and going to the playoffs, still have all that draft capital, and, and it seems like they are going to be in the QB market. The NFC East is so – it's been so bad, and – for the Cowboys to beat up on the NFC East, I think they were like 6-0 against the division. That's why I think Carson actually has a better chance of winning the division because everybody else around him, from year to year, you don't know what those teams are going to look like. In the AFC West, Woody, we talked about this. We talked about this on Get Up, first take from morning till night. The AFC West is loaded, my brother. It is loaded. I don't even know if Russell will make the playoffs. I think he will, but you don't know. Justin Herbert, like, uh, uh, Justin Herbert, Derek Carr and the Raiders, like, like this is a whole, and I didn't, and here's the thing, that's the scary thing, I didn't even mention Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, like, the Chiefs in the conversation, like, they end up being an afterthought because we're so caught up in the, the moves that the Broncos have made, I just don't know, there's going to be a very good team out of that division, a lot of good teams out of that division that don't make the playoffs, but Carson Wentz, I agree with you, he's not a dog. I watch Hard Knocks. He's a guy that does, doesn't hate to lose more than he likes to win. Mm. So there are intangibles missing in his repertoire. But there's a lot missing from these NFC East teams. All I got to say, Woody, is that is the ultimate indictment on Carson Wentz. When we talk how thick the AFC West is, we know how bad the NFC East is as a fan of the Giants, that you can't even go with Carson Wentz. I mean, that is just saying a <laughs> lot to me right now. But let me just stay in the NFC East for one second here. Uh, Damien, so who do you have winning it then? Are you going to go with Dallas? In the NFC East? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go with the Dallas Cowboys in the NFC East because they got – they got the most talent, and they got, they got continuity on their, on their staff. They mm. brought back both of their coordinators. They got the same head coach. Dak Prescott is still there. Are they going to be the same Dallas Cowboys team? Probably not because we see they have to, you know, make some changes as it relates to the salary cap. But I think, I think when you look at the other teams in that division, I mean, who, who is there? The Philadelphia Eagles got, you know, they got Jalen Hurts, and they got some draft picks and all those type of things. But – Overall, when I look at that division, man, it, it's still all about the Dallas Cowboys and, and the star power that they have on both sides of the football and uh, the continuity that they have on their coaching staff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with D. Wood. Just because Daniel Jones has a new head coach, we don't know what Daniel Jones will be. This is yeah. almost similar to Carson. It'll be his last 
Yeah, Shut. don't even talk about the Giants. Sorry, it's just, sorry, it's Molly. such a depressing proposition. Sorry. But really quick, before we go to break, it's like the saddest thing ever. Just <laughs> indulge me for a second. So how do, so how do we feel? I want to take a poll. How do we feel about the name, Kimberly, Washington Commanders? Are we into it? Because... I'm still warming up to it. No, I'm not into Commander Carson or any of that stuff. But we didn't like the Washington football team, and that actually was kind of catchy. So maybe in a couple months, we'll be like, oh, the Commander. Yeah, That's now I'm liking Washington football team <laughs> yeah, better. Exactly. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.